Computer science can be seen as a very abstract, sophisticated, or difficult discipline. And a lot of these perceptions is actually what held me back from actually studying it. Today I want to be talking about a lot of ideas or perceptions that really held me back from studying um, computer science in a very academic sense, in a very formal learning setting. Now I know you can always self-study and learn on your own or through boot camps, but today I'm going to be talking about mainly at a university level. So I really want to share one of the things I wish I knew before switching to computer science. Now the first thing that I wish I knew is that computer science is not that scary. Now I recently enrolled in a master's in computer science program and I definitely do get uh, a little overwhelmed by all the new concepts that I'm learning, especially my computer systems class where I'm starting to have dreams in binary and what transistor am I going to draw today. But honestly, looking at it now, I can see that a lot of my previous uh, preconceived notions or expectations of what computer science is uh, just weren't really true. Um, I really thought that CS was a very detailed, very sophisticated discipline that's only for a select group. You actually have to have some kind of uh, born intuition before you actually get into it. But a lot of the times I just find myself really being engaged and just being so grateful for all the things that I'm learning. Uh, just seeing what I can do with it and actually being amazed that, you know, actually one of the fundamental concepts is decomposing problems, decomposing functions, whatever it may be, into smaller parts. And I think that's what really helped me. And I wish that I knew that before making a transition to know that, you know, it's really hard and not wise to compare yourself against someone who's already knowing everything about the discipline and just being a starter in that field. Now, the second thing that I wish I knew is that past experience should not hold you back. And actually, in my middle school and high school years, I was actually deeply interested in computers and computer science. In fact, in high school, I took the AP Computer Science course, which is basically a college level credit equivalent for high schoolers. And I ended up getting a one in that class out of five, which is essentially a fail. And I was just so devastated. And I just felt at that time that computers just really weren't for me, and especially getting into computer science. Now, after recovering from that, I actually applied to college and was accepted as a computer science major. And in fact, I even went to the orientation for the computer science majors. And I was really excited that, you know, I had another chance and I'm just gonna start and get into it. But for some reason, I just kept thinking about, you know, that past experience with computer science one. And then I hear a lot of things about how difficult it is and a lot of people dropping out and switching that I just decided again that it really wasn't for me. And the one day before classes started my freshman year, I switched majors. I just completely just dropped out and didn't want to have to do anything with computer science at that time. And what I wish I knew um, to kind of deal with that is that, you know, I'm again handling all those complexities at once. And two, I'm also holding on to this time where okay, maybe I wasn't really prepared academically and I was much younger than um, I should have been uh, maturity wise in trying to actually tackle this whole new discipline that I knew nothing about, but was very interested in. I wish I could have take it, taken a more mature and I honestly just asked for help, um, more guidance on, you know, is this right for me right now or how can I ease into it kind of thing. Now, finally, my favorite point and what I wish I knew about computer science is that computer science is no more about computers than astronomy is about telescopes. Now, what does that mean? Well, there's this kind of similar analogy with computer science dealing with computers and um, astronomy dealing with telescopes. These are the natural things we think of when we think of these disciplines. And what I've become increasingly aware of is that computers really only make up half the story at best of computer science. Now as objects, they're very sophisticated, detailed, and amazing things that 
we learn and use. But it's precisely that other part that really made me appreciate computer science more and made me feel more welcome and want to engage in it more, right? It's not only about, you know, what is a computer made of, but what can you build with it? So many things that you can do with computers, with art or music, how to understand society or how influential it is in media. And um, just looking at all these different disciplines, I mean, you can just look at it up online yourself. There's so much things you can do with computers and history or computers and languages. And as you can see, academically, the field of computer science is now a huge net. There's so many sub-disciplines and a lot of different groups like to just learn uh, so many things of their own interest. And that's ultimately what computer science means to me, just this fundamental creativity that you can take out of computer science, computers, and beyond. And I wish that I knew that computer science wasn't this set discipline, this notion um, of really hard details. And all of those are important, but while being essential, they're not the only things. They are just the mere beginning, just the foundation. And I wish that I had a better perspective on the field and I reached out to someone for that. But anyways, uh, those are my tips, guys. Um, thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, uh, my name is Cedric. I recently enrolled in a master's in computer science program at the University of Pennsylvania. And on this channel, I make videos about my academic journey, my lifestyle, and guide to personal growth. If any of that interests you, please consider checking out other videos and consider subscribing. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.